has come. Hello everyone, my name is Ed Beast, and this video is a remake of my four-year-old video called Mount and Blade Warband Money Exploit. I said in the description of that video that I would be remaking it when I hit 100 subs, and we have definitely gone beyond that. Thank you very much. So, first thing we're going to get into is building your character. You'll want loads of charisma going into this, so I'm going to pick the squire here, but you can choose merchant as well. Next, you'll want to put all the points you can into leadership and trade, because with trade, it's pretty obvious you're going to get better trade deals. And with leadership, you're going to be able to pay your men a little bit less every time that's upgraded, which will help with the upkeep of your troops. Okay, now that you've created your character, I want to tell you some things you don't want to do if you want to make a large amount of money. First thing you do not do is build a large army. I recommend no more than 10 troops, and I also recommend not spending any money in the marketplace on weapons and armor. With that out of the way, the next thing you should do is speak with the tavern keeper. The tavern keeper will tell you which lords have tasks for you. I also recommend talking to guild masters, which can provide easy early game quests. Here's a tip if you ever end up traveling long distances in this game. If you hold the control button and tap the space bar, this will speed you up and help you save some real life time. Just do be warned, this may get you in some fights you don't really want to deal with. Killing bandits is probably the most common way to make money early game. All you have to do is take their loot and sell it to the nearest town. It won't give you crazy amounts of money, but it's a good way to make a living. Another way of making money in this game is to get thrown into a pit full of naked men and women and get poked by sticks. The reward is kind of meh for how many enemies you have to defeat though. But luckily, there's a better version of this called Tournaments, where you still jab people, but they have clothes. And at the beginning of each round, you also get the option to bet on yourself. And this is actually a pretty good way of making money. Another way to make money is to use blunt force on your enemies. After going through a battle, wounded enemies will show up on your list. You can take them prisoner, which means you decide their fate. To get money out of this, simply trade them to the nearest slave market for a bit of cash. After gathering some cash, head to the market and assess the local prices. This will tell you which goods will sell better in nearby towns. All you have to do is determine which goods are best for you to trade. Then buy the goods and sell them to the desired town. The next and probably best way to get money is enterprises. First, find a guild master and tell him you wish to buy land. He will give you a bunch of options and your goal is to get the best one. After you select one, keep in mind that you must wait one week before you start earning the income. The more enterprises you get, the more money you can receive and begin to snowball. Last and least, you can cheat. All you have to do is hold control and press X while on any inventory screen. Thanks for making it to the end of the video. If you liked it, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future content.